children of Nazara, come, gather around and let me tell you a story from the old days. A story of wisdom and wonder. This is the tale of young Jesus, the boy who was wise beyond his years. And the day his parents searched for him with great concern. In the bustling village of Nazara, everyone was preparing for the great festival in the distant city. Among them were Joseph, his wife Mary, and their young son, Jesus. They were excited to join the festivities and pay their respect at the sacred temple. Make sure Jesus is ready, Mary. Joseph said, as he packed their belongings, we have a long journey ahead. Yes, Joseph, Mary replied with a smile. Jesus is eager to see the city and the temple. He has been asking many questions about it. Father, Jesus asked, his eyes bright with curiosity. Will I see the wise elders at the temple? Will they tell stories of God? Joseph patted Jesus on the head. Yes, my son, you will see and hear many wonderful things. The family traveled with their neighbors, singing songs and sharing stories along the way. When they arrived in the grand city, the streets were filled with people from many villages, all celebrating the festival. Stay close, Jesus, Mary said, holding his hand tightly. There are many people here, and we do not want to lose you in the crowd. I will, mother, Jesus replied, looking around in awe. Look at all the colors and the people. They visited the temple, where Jesus marveled at the teachings and the wisdom shared by the elders. His eyes sparkled with curiosity and understanding far beyond his years. After several days, it was time to return to Nazara. The family gathered their belongings and set off on the journey back home. Joseph and Mary, thinking Jesus was with their relatives, did not realize he had stayed behind. Our boy is growing so quickly, Joseph said to Mary as they walked. So, he will be a man. Yes, but he is still our child, Mary replied with a smile. Let us make sure he is with the others. As evening fell and they made camp, Mary called for Jesus, but he did not answer. Our heart began to race with worry. Joseph, have you seen Jesus? He is not with the other children, she exclaimed, her voice trembling. Joseph looked concerned. We must go back and find him. Come, let us return to the city. They hurried back to the city, searching everywhere for their beloved son. They asked merchants, travelers, and villagers, but no one had seen the boy. Where could he be? Mary said, tears in her eyes. What if something has happened to him? We will find him, Mary, Joseph said, comforting her. God watches over him. Let us check the temple. On the third day, they returned to the temple. There, among the elders and teachers, they found young Jesus, sitting calmly, listening and asking questions. The elders were astonished at his understanding and wisdom. This boy is extraordinary. One elder said to another, his questions and insights are those of a wise man, not a child. Indeed, the other elder replied, he has the spirit of a sage within him. When Mary saw him, she ran to him, relief flooding her heart. My son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been searching for you in great distress. Jesus looked up at her calmly. Why were you searching for me? Did you not know I must be in my father's house? Joseph, puzzled yet understanding, said, Come, Jesus, it is time to return home.
Jesus returned home with his parents to Nazareth, and he grew in wisdom and stature, gaining favor with God and with people. Joseph and Mary treasured all these things in their heart, knowing their son was destined for greatness. And so, dear children, the tale of young Jesus reminds us that wisdom and purpose can be found even in the youngest amongst us. Always listen, learn, and seek the truth, for God has a plan for each of us. Now go and carry this story with you, sharing its wisdom with all.